Now that you've seen how to create posts, in this video, I will show you how to add images to a post. First, I want to add an image below the Aya Sophia paragraph. To do that, I click Enter below the paragraph to create a new block, and then I click on the plus button here and choose the image block. This is the image block where you can add images in four different ways. You can upload an image, select it from the media library, insert an image from a URL, or drag and drop an image into the box. Let's try the upload option first. I click on upload and a dialog box will open where you can choose an image that is stored on your computer. I find the image I want to use, I select it and then click open. And the image is now added to the text. Below the image, there is the option to write a caption. All you need to do is type in the text. On the right side, you see a sidebar with more settings for adjusting the image. The first thing you can do is add alternative text. Alternative text describes your image to people who cannot see it. For example, this can help visually impaired people who may be using screen readers to understand what your text is about. Alternative text also helps search engine spiders find your relevant content and thus improve the accessibility of your site. Next in the sidebar, you can change the image size by either choosing a generic image size or by choosing the exact image dimensions. Yet another way to change the image dimension is straight into the block. Click on the image and you will see blue dots appear on the edges. Use the left mouse button to click on a dot and simply drag it to a size that you find suitable. Note that you will need to see the cross arrow appear for this to work. Let's go back to the sidebar and its settings. Below the resizing settings are the link settings. They allow you to make your image clickable and to choose what happens when visitors click on it. You will see an example of that when we add an image from URL. And back to the editor again, Right now, we have the image below the paragraph, but there are various alignment manipulations that you can use. For example, you can move the image between the paragraph and the heading. To do that, select the image, hover the mouse over the left side of the image until you see two arrows appear, click on the upward pointing arrow, and you see that the image is now between the title and the paragraph. There are also other options for aligning the image with the text. I will click this one, for example, and then by clicking, holding, and moving the image with the blue dots, I can change it to a size that I desire. Okay, now we have the image set in the text, but there are other options to edit it even more. First, we can transform the image by clicking on the transform button here. And these are the options. You can turn an image into a downloadable file, but it will make it go away, and in this case, we do not want that. We can add some more text associated to the image and even choose to add a heading, a list, or a paragraph. This also does not seem suitable for this kind of post. I think the most interesting here and most relevant is the option to add a gallery. So I click on it, and now you see the new option here to upload another image within this blog. I will upload one, and you see now that the settings in the sidebar are changed. Currently, I have two columns, so two images that I can add to the gallery, but I can also add more columns by changing the number here. You can also choose to crop the thumbnails so they align and choose to link to them. If you choose the option link to media file, the images will be clickable and they will open in another screen. I click save draft and preview to see what the gallery looks like. You see it here, and I click on the image to open it. Going back to the editing screen, there is the option to transform the image into a cover image. I will choose that option, and you see now that there is a possibility to write text over the image. Let's write Turkey top destinations, and let's click on the arrow here to move the image up, and note that now there are options in the sidebar that are, again, different. Now I can change the background, the colors, and the brightness of this cover image. So let me just adjust a few things, click Save Draft, and then Preview to see what happened. 
Here it is. The image is now displayed as a cover. I go back and you see here that in the menu, there are three dots that offer even more options available for manipulating this block. You can, for example, duplicate this photo, choose to add another block before or after it, and you can also add it to reusable blocks. If you have an image that you use often, click on the Add to Reusable Blocks, add a title, and click Save. You can now find your reusable block by clicking the plus icon, scroll through the bottom of the drop-down menu, and click on the reusable block you created. Finally, if you want to delete the block, choose the Remove Block option. As I mentioned previously, there are different ways to add images with the block editor. We already uploaded one, and the image we uploaded went straight to our media library. You can also directly upload files in the media library, like this. Finally, there is also an option to edit the image via the media library. Just below the image and its details, there is the Edit Image link. Click on it, and a new screen in a new tab will open. Here we can crop, rotate, and flip the image around. We can also change the dimensions, the name, etc. If you make any changes here, do not forget to click Update in order for them to work. Let's go back to our Post Editor. If you want to insert an image from an external site or from a URL without adding it to the media library, you can do it with the Insert from URL button. Go to the Image page source, in this case, I have found a page with images from Turkey. Right-click on the desired image and choose Copy Image URL. Go back to the post editor, simply paste the link and click the Enter button. And the image is now set. Now, since we took this image from a different site, we want to make it clickable and enable visitors to access the original image source. To do that, we go to the link settings then choose the link to custom URL. And in the link URL box here, we paste the URL of the image source, like this. I will also choose to open the image in a new tab once it is clicked. Let's now click Save, then Preview. And here we see that the image is clickable. And if I click on it, the source URL opens in a new tab. Let's go back and see one more final option to add an image, which is the drag and drop option. You drag and drop an image from your computer by first locating the image on the computer, left click on it to select it, and simply drag it and drop it here like this. And there it is. Those are the basics of what you can do to add and edit images.